This section is about summary and hybrid reports. Basically, reports that are showing summaries of detailed data, a step beyond just a list report. That requires we get into the group header slash footer sections and all the options available to us, placement of summary fields, format options, because keep in mind we are working the module about layout and design, some grouping guidelines, and two expert tips, one about field alignment and one about summary metadata. Without further ado, let's hop right to it. Now from Crystal Reports, I'm in our group sort and filter example report. This was a quick little report that we threw together in order to kind of show the sorting grouping functionality. However, this is far from ready for prime time. It's still very hard to read, kind of hard on the eyes, and things are kind of organized, well, not really organized. So the first thing we want to do is hit our design view. Now this may seem counterintuitive. The first thing I would like to do is arrange my field along with the guidelines where possible. So I'm going to do this manually, but I'm going to basically highlight my fields and I'm going to drag them to make sure they're between their start and end guidelines. If there isn't a guideline, I simply go up to the ruler section and click, and one appears. So we can see here, location name's already taken care of. Also notice the hover text. If you hover over fields, you get to see what it is and what type. I click. And you have to be careful with these page headers. Even though it's suppressed, I still try and keep them in place. You never know if you do end up printing this out on actual paper, strange as it sounds, uh, you might need this on every single page. So I usually just keep it hidden in the background. My record selection formula, I'm going to move. I'm going to insert section below. I'm in my report footer. And I'm going to move my record selection down here. I'm going to keep it in between. Now notice I'm keeping this one going the length. This is very helpful. It looks good if you export it to HTML or PDF. But even more importantly, most reports, I would say about 90% of my career experience, end up in Excel. So aligning these has a dual purpose. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect in all cases, as you'll soon see, but it helps when you finally get to an export. That way you don't spend time wasting Excel. When we get to the lesson on exporting, you'll see this clearly. Now, the other thing I have, I've got these summary fields in here, counting my location IDs. I also want them to be lined up between my guidelines where possible. Now, it doesn't always have to be that way, and I do have a choice. I can put my summary fields up in the group header, or I can leave them here in the footer like I'm doing now. I'm going to move this around like this, and in this case, I'm going to move this one way over here. I'm going to right-click, go to Format My Field, going to choose my border. I'm going to put one single along the bottom here. It's going to look like this. Same thing with my city. You can also line up your city with the field. It's really up to you. Put it here. And let's go ahead and take a peek at our report so far. All right, that looks a little bit better but it's still very, very hard to read. So we have a couple options. We can right click in our group header two, go to our section expert, go to our color, choose a background color. We can leave silver. We also, as we've seen in a previous lesson, click the drop down box, choose from one of these pre-selected and or go to more and you can actually create your own colors and save. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of here. I'm just gonna leave it silver and press okay. And I hit preview again. Now this is a little bit better. I have West Coast, easy on the eyes. And I have Venecita as the city. And I can also see how many cities I'm looking at. The other thing you can do from preview is you can highlight any field. Notice I'm highlighting the group footer two, the count of location. And I can choose what justification by simply clicking up here. Now you can experiment with these options and throw things around as you see fit. This Benicia, I'm thinking, probably needs to get aligned here to make a little more sense. Now, again, I like to keep it between the guidelines, even if it's not an individual field. 
As you can see, it's a little bit easier to read and a little cleaner. Now I'm going to take it back to design view. We're going to get to one of our expert tips, which is using the metadata feature inside of Crystal Reports. In order to do so, let's go to File, Summary Info. We're going to put in keywords, we're going to put in comments, and I'm going to give it a title. And I'm going to go ahead and press OK. As always, a good idea to click and save, save your work, either Control S or just hit the disk icon up here. Now I'm going to go back over here. Here's my field explorer. I'm going to go ahead and pin that so I can see it. Go back to my preview. And not bad. I'm going to go to my special fields. And remember those uh, fields that we just filled in in the metadata? Well, I can actually drag these in on the report. I can drag them over here, line them up, crease it a little bit. I can make it bold. Use my drop down, crease the size a little bit. Hey, drop it just a, a slightly. Right click, I can format my field. Go to border, choose single. Heck, I can even choose double. Just mix it up a little bit. Press OK. Click. And there is my report. Let's get a good look at that. As we can see, we've got several groups that we're playing around with here. Each one is formatted slightly differently. If I felt like it, we could swap these around a little bit. Go back to my design view. Now, if I click and hold on my group header two, it turns into this hand. I can shift it up, preview, and I can move everything around. Now, my details are still a little wonky, so I'm going to go fix that right now, much like we did in the other video. Now it's a little bit better, but keep in mind that things are a little complicated. So as you can see, this is getting a little bit closer, but at the same time, it may not be as clear as we need it to be. For example, this report header up here, well, it doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's go to our design view. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right under group header two. We're gonna right click in the group header two. We're gonna insert the section below. We're going to right click on group header A, select all section objects, and you can right click and cut, and then right click here and paste, Gives you the first box. You line it up, click, and there you go. Now, if we look at our previews, we have our field names telling us exactly. So as you can see, there's tons of flexibility here. A lot of it's just going to depend on the purpose of the report, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to do. So these are some basic guidelines that help you. Keep in mind, the more group fields that you add, well, the more confusing it can be. Groups are usually meant to group large sets of data together. That's how they make sense. You're showing an actual summary. In this case, there's almost an individual line per data record, with the one exception of the West Coast Denver location. A lot of it's going to depend on the type of data. For a simple list report like this, we're just showing functionality. For others, well, it's important to kind of realize there's limitations. It probably looks better if we removed a few groups. So I could easily grab the location city and remove it by deleting the group or moving this around so it makes more sense. Now we do have more options. This is kind of a hybrid report. We have both the summary level and the detail together. You can click on our design and simply right click in the details and hit suppress or hide and drill down. We're going to start off with hide drill down OK. And let's go to our preview. So we can see now this is truly a, well, summary level report. All we have is summary level data, but pay attention. Go to your group tree over here, click on Allentown, click drill down. It opens up a new tab. Click on others, click drill down again, and you have the detail. 
this is pretty nice functionality. Uh, again, a lot of it's going to depend on how good your groups are. In a lot of cases, they make sense. If you're rolling up to region, you're rolling up via time, it's a lot cleaner and it makes more sense. Obviously, you're going to use a little common sense when designing this report. This is just for example purposes. We can go ahead and close out of these tabs, get back to our main preview. And that's basic summary and hybrid reporting. Now let's wrap up this lesson. Keep the fields in alignment with the details where possible. Again, you have to think long term of where this is going to be, what this is going to look like. Obviously, if you're exporting to HTML or Excel, having a very clean tabular format keeps things very readable. If things are off and you export those formats, well, so is the file that's produced. Now, with PDFs, obviously, it's what you see is what you get. You have a little more flexibility. Things can be slightly offset, and in some cases, that works. Definitely use shadings and borders to display the natural breaks between groups. It's easier for the human eye to follow, and it makes for a much more readable report. It's good practice to start utilizing the Crystal Port Summary feature. A lot of people don't utilize this feature. However, it does come in handy, especially if you have to manage a lot of crystal reports. Remember, try not to go crazy with the groups. Technically speaking, you can have 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 groups to report. But then it becomes, well, well, really, really hard to follow. There are cases where that can come in handy, but they are very few. Keep in mind that grouping is meant to group large sets of data together. So if, like in this case, if there was a line for every group, that's really not an effective group. Just don't go crazy. Just try and find an ideal balance. And that's summary and hybrid reports in a nutshell.